Welcome to day 72 of Reset, Restart, Refocus. Okay, so today we're doing a weekend roundup, plus I'm going to let you know how day one of the bacon experiment went for me. So here's my weight from Saturday. Okay, so on Saturday, my weight was 168.0, which means I was up 1.2 pounds. Yikes, you guys. It's not looking good for me this whole weekend. So let's find out what happened. So um, I didn't take any video of what I ate on Saturday because I was just plain busy with the kids and doing some different things. And I just totally forgot to um, take a video of what I ate. But um, I had um, probably about a couple ounces of just blue cheese and an undetermined amount of bacon because I was cooking up a little bit of bacon. I was kind of testing out the theory of cooking the bacon at 350 degrees, which is a lot lower than what I usually cook the bacon at. And so I had a little bit of bacon in my refrigerator and cooked it up and the kids and I ate that. So I'm not sure. I didn't um, like weigh it out or anything and I didn't really pay attention and count it. But I... I don't know, I'm thinking maybe I had um, six or seven pieces of bacon. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't a, a pound and a half, I'll tell you that right now. But anyway, that's what I had on Saturday to eat. So here is, and plus I had my electrolyte drink, and I took my supplements. I just want you to know that I'm staying on track with all of that too. All right, so here's my weight from Sunday. Okay, so on Sunday, I weighed 169.6, which means I was up 1.6 pounds. Every day since Thursday, my weight's been going up, up, up. And I know it's because of the electrolyte drink and all the soy water and, and the potassium and everything else that I've been drinking. So I'm just retaining a lot of weight right now. I mean, I'm retaining a lot of weight. And so I'm just waiting for that to, to kind of fall off and have a little whoosh. All right, so again on Sunday, I had my live stream and I cooked up um, enough bacon. What was it? I don't know. It was like a pound and a half of bacon times seven is what I made. So I cooked up quite a bit of bacon and um, I didn't... I didn't video, I didn't take any pictures or videotape what I ate. But what I did eat was a Cobb salad. It was the last Cobb salad that I had. Abby and I both had a Cobb salad. And I had her blue cheese um, off of her salad because she doesn't like blue cheese. And I didn't want it to go to waste. I love blue cheese. And then after the live stream, towards the end of the evening, I had... Um, some of the um, Ghirardelli 86% little chocolate squares. Hold on for a second and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I had two of these little squares of the Ghirardelli intense dark chocolate and that was all that I had. Alright, so I was just kind of craving a little treat, something sweet. And I have a couple of little bags of those in my um, cupboard in, in, in the kitchen. So I just felt like, I don't know, I like them because they're um, single serving sizes. Of course, I ate two servings. But I don't think it really affected me that bad. But anyway, let's find out what my weight was this morning. Okay, so this morning my weight was 170.8. Yeah, I'm back up to 170. 
I gained 1.2 pounds. So since um, Thursday, I've gained 4.8 pounds. And boy, it just makes me want to quit drinking that electrolyte drink. I mean, I've got to trust the process. I know it can take a week or so um, for the your sodium levels to kind of balance out, and then I'll start releasing some of that water weight. But it's really, really hard to see myself gain a pound or more a day. So it's not looking good for this Wednesday when I do my weigh-in, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to trust the process. That's what I keep telling myself. Just trust the process. I mean, this is where weighing in every day kind of um, hurts you a little bit because if I don't see, if I see a weight gain every single day up until Wednesday and I've gained more than five pounds, it's going to be a little bit sad for me. So um, one thing that I did different today is I didn't drink the electrolyte drink. And I'll tell you why. It's not because of the weight gain. It's because of the bacon experiment. And I feel like I'm getting enough sodium with all of that bacon. So um, I didn't want to like overload myself with so much sodium. So I skipped it today. And I didn't take my potassium pill because the bacon has um, enough potassium. But I did take the magnesium because the, um, the, bacon, the bacon only has... Um, 400 milligrams of magnesium. So I did take a magnesium pill, but I'm going to hold off on the sole water and the potassium until the end of the week when the bacon, bacon experiment is over because I really don't want to, I don't want to have a heart attack. I don't want my blood pressure to go up too high. And so that'll be that. All right, so... I took my blood glucose this morning, so here it is. Okay, so this morning my blood glucose was 94, and I'm usually in the 80s or so, and I don't know if those two squares of chocolate made my glucose go up a little bit this morning, but if it did, it's really not a big deal because... Um, I mean, 94 is still pretty good. So I'm not worried about that. All right, and here are my ketones. Okay, so my ketones were 2.4, which means that the chocolate didn't knock me out of ketosis, which was good. It means I am in ketosis, strongly in ketosis, which means the weight gain has got to be from all that sodium and the potassium and everything that I'm taking in the electrolyte drink. That's all I can think about. Because, I mean, really, 2.4 ketones is really, really good. So I'm not worried about it. I would like to see my weight go down. Of course I would. But um, I'm just going to trust the process. That's why I keep telling myself. Just trust the process. So anyway, I ate my pound and a half of bacon. So let me show you that. Okay, so it's just about 11 o'clock, and I'm going to eat the first half of this container of bacon. This is a pound and a half cooked down. So I'll have a little, I'll have this right now, and in a few hours, I'll eat the rest. Okay, so the bacon was in a little container, and I just warmed it up, and I ate half um, around 11, about 11 o'clock. And then a couple hours later, I ate the other half. And it filled me up. It, I felt satisfied. I felt like, I don't know, I felt normal. But we'll see what happens when I take my glucose and my ketones in the morning and see if I'm still strongly in ketosis and maybe my blood glucose has gone down a little bit because I'm not having any more of that chocolate. I rarely eat that chocolate. All right, so anyway, one other thing I wanted to talk about with the bacon experiment is on Sunday when I was doing my meal prep, I talked about the, um, the macros on everything. So I want to adjust that a little bit, and I want to talk about it. I guess I should have been a little bit more prepared and had this turned on for you. But let's compare what the macros were yesterday the 
better turn the light down on this. It's pretty bright. Okay. So here's the macros that I showed yesterday on my live stream. And so what it says is 12 grams of carbs, which is over the carbs what I usually eat. I try to stay at 10 or under. It had 11 grams of net carbs, 200 and 239 grams of fat. That's a lot of fat. 231 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein. That's more fat and protein than I usually eat in a day. And the calories were 3,184. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to eat 3,000 worth of calories every single day for a week. I'll never lose weight. And then there was something else I wanted to show you. The, where is it? The magnesium is 210.9 milligrams of magnesium. The sodium is a whopping 11,000, 11,000. 457 grams of milligrams of sodium and potassium is at 3395 so if you want to look at that yikes it's still too too bright isn't it that's what that looks like if you want to pause it and look at it but that's what it says okay so I was kind of um, wondering, what should I do? I mean, I can't eat 3,000 worth, 3,000 calories every single day for a week. I'll blow up like a balloon. Well, I was talking to somebody about it, and they said, you know what? You're looking at, um, you're looking at the raw weight, and they were right. That was the raw bacon. I mean, I'm not eating raw bacon. Gross. And so um, I kind of looked up the macros for cooked bacon. And this is what I found for that. It's a lot better. All right. So here's the macros for the cooked bacon. Let me read to you what it says. So i got to turn the light up now so I can read it. Oh, whoo, there it is. So the cooked bacon that I ate today was 4 grams of carbs. That is much, much better. I'm happy with that. 120 grams of fat out of 95 is what I usually try to keep it at. So that's not too bad. It's a little bit over, but it's not too bad. And it's 107 grams of protein, which... I try to keep my protein around 80 to 90, so that's a little bit more too, but I'm not worried about that either. All right, so let's talk about the magnesium, sodium, and potassium. So the magnesium for the cooked bacon is only 95 grams. So I'm glad I took a magnesium pill today because I don't want to go too low on that. The potassium is 1,627 grams of milligrams of potassium. So I could stand to have a little bit more potassium. So I think tomorrow I'm going to add in a little bit of that no salt. And then the sodium is 6,652 grams. So I'm right where I need to be with sodium. So I, st I still need to up my magnesium and I still need to up the potassium a little bit, but my sodium level is still still where it needs to be. Boy, this phone is bright. Oh, I know what it's doing. All right, so there you go. If you want to pause it and look at it, there it is. All right, so I'm not freaking out as much as I was before. Oh, and did I tell you what the calories are? I'm going to tell you again because I don't remember if I said... Okay, so the calories went from over 3,000 to 1,558 calories. 
I can handle that. Okay, so anyway, that's all good. And you know what? It makes sense to me because the um, when I cooked all that bacon, I saved all the fat in some mason jars because I'm going to use that bacon fat for my cooking for the next several weeks. And so um, I got more than two quarts of fat off of that bacon. So that, that's the part that really makes sense to me on, you know, going from 3,000 to 1,500 calories because I've got more than two quarts. I think it was two quarts plus another cup of um, bacon fat. So anyway, that's all, that's, um, all that I want to say about that. I'm feeling a lot better about this fast now that I've really thought about it and really figured it out. So I'm going to continue on because, I mean, eating bacon um, all day today, it was pretty tasty. It wasn't too bad. I mean, it's not something I would do for a lifetime, and it's not something I would probably do past this week, but I really feel like I'm going to, I'm going to really kill it this week with the bacon experiment. All right, so anyway, that's all that I have for you today. I just wanted to give you an update. I'll give you another update on Wednesday, and hopefully on my weekly weigh-in, some of this weight has fallen off of me. We'll find out. Tune in on Wednesday. All right, so until next time, keep calm and keto on. Thank you.